like a burial. In the road? <laughs> Driver, what is it? It's a funeral, Mademoiselle. They're afraid of the men who steal dead bodies. So they dig the grave in the middle of the road, where people pass all of the time. Well, that's a cheerful introduction for you to our West Indies. Why did you drive like that, you fool? We might have been killed. Worse than that, monsieur. We might have been caught. Excuse me, please. Have you got a match? <laughs> Did I frighten you? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm ugly enough, I suppose. Oh, no, it wasn't you. Something happened back on the road there. We uh, stopped to speak to some men. Our driver told us they weren't men at all. He said they were corpses. Corpses. Surely you don't believe it, do you? No. I don't know. Katie is full of nonsense and superstition. They're always mixed up with a lot of mysteries that turn your hair gray. I've been a missionary here for, oh, 30 years. And at times, I don't know what to think. Come, let's go in the house. Oh, yes. Well, come then. Is, uh, is Mr. Beaumont in? You're expected, Dr. Bruner. <laughs> yes, I, I've been sent for to marry someone. <laughs> Maybe here. <yeah. laughs> oh, yes, excuse me. Uh, is uh, 
how long is it that you know Mr. Beaumont? Oh, only a few days. Uh, Madeline introduced him on the docks in Port-au-Prince. Uh, and you? I met him on the ship coming from New York. He was very kind during the voyage. Oh, Madeline and I planned to be married the moment she arrived. But Mr. Beaumont persuaded us to come here. And he promised to take me out of the bank at Port-au-Prince and send me to New York as his agent. Hmm. Strange. It's very strange. It's all right, isn't it, Doctor? Oh, I guess so. You see, I... I've only met Mr. Beaumont once or twice. <laughs> but... <laughs> but he never struck me like a man that would take the trouble to play a fairy godfather to a young couple like you. Unless... Unless what, sir? I suppose you'll think I'm a meddling old fool, but... You know, I'd feel a good deal better if you'd clear out of this place after you're married and have nothing more to do with Mr. Bowman. The young people have arrived, sir, and Dr. Bruner. They're waiting in the reception hall. Show them to their room and tell them I'm out. Yes. No, wait. Perhaps I'd better see them. It might look odd if I didn't. Very odd, sir. Especially as Dr. Bruner is a trifle skeptical as to your motives, sir. Never mind my motives. Has that other person sent word yet? No, sir, not yet. Yes, yes, indeed. Oh, yes, of course. I'm sure Neil will make a very good agent. But you must be tired after your drive. You'll get some rest. Silver! Silver will show you to your rooms. This way, please. 